Well, we are still trying to get comment from them. Are they the ones that left this abandoned water in this site? We also reached out to the city of Flint. They say they have nothing to do with this water. So we're going to continue to work on this to find out who's to blame. But the bottom line is, if you're a person in Flint who needs bottled water, relies on bottled water after the Flint water crisis, well, a lot of them are telling us this just feels like a slap in the face. This is all horrible. Good looking out, Flint, Michigan. You can hear the disgust in his voice as Jimmy Cowell sees dozens upon dozens of packages of bottled water left, forgotten. I'm sorry, I'm trying to shine a light on it. Like, it's, it's messed up, it's wrong. So we went in search of answers. The city of Flint tells us they have nothing to do with the water in the building, adding they've never used it as a site for donations or storage. They also didn't have anything to say about who would look into it either. We found a Grand Rapids radio station posting pictures back in January 2016 here, the same spot where the water was left abandoned. But calls to the organizers have gone unanswered, and right now, answers is all these people really want. This is probably a 30 by 50 room full of water. Because at a time, water seems to be running out. Help seems to be running out. Cowell says this feels like quite a punch to the gut. This is too much water. This water could have been distributed to me, my family, plenty of people around this neighborhood. And Cowell says it's still a burden on him and his family to have to drink that bottle of water. He says his neighbors are in the same boat and what he found in that building could have worked for at least a week or two for his immediate neighborhood, maybe even a few out in the distance. He wants answers as to who was the one that was responsible, bringing in donations, he thinks, and then leaving them there. He says that's the type of thing that makes it look like Flint is biting the hand that feeds him when he says that is not the case at all. We're going to continue to track down the leads that we've found, but the bottom line is we're not sure whether anybody can be held responsible at this point in time. Gosh, it's so we're frustrating. We're live this morning. Matthew Smith, yeah. 7 Action News. Absolutely.